Hello, it's Sarah, and it's kind of a a dreary day, I would say. Anyway, I'm in here um, putting some polymer clay pieces together, and I thought I would turn the camera on. I'm getting ready to glue this one together. I'm going to put this tile right there. It doesn't help. Um, <laughs> how about this paper towel? I just don't like that glare. Okay. Um, and Kathy Hayes, shout out, thank you. She reminded me, and I think I even did a video on this at some point, about how you can transform metal, glass, um, beads into a different color using alcohol ink. And basically a Sharpie is made with alcohol ink, uh, Copics or alcohol ink, and there are other alcohol ink markers out there. Um, she had mentioned she was using her, like Tim Holtz, her Ranger alcohol inks. And so I just wanted to point that out that Kathy, yes, you reminded me and I did that today because I had these, I got these at Hobby Lobby on clearance, these thick uh, bling chains, I call them. And this is a pink, it's kind of like a, it's definitely pink. And this is black. And I had this black piece on here, and I was good with it. I liked it, it was good. Um, but I thought, hmm, red would be nice. So I took my red Sharpie, and I changed this pink bling chain into red bling chain. So let me just, I'll just pull this off. And it absolutely looks red. It hasn't lost any of its shimmer and I'm going to use that instead because I just thought there was enough there was a lot of black going on and so I did that I also changed this little piece these are little silver I buy these in the clearance department like I got these yesterday um, these are silver and they look like very much like the patterns in these stamp sets with the swirly, the way the swirly leaves are. Maybe you can't see it that well, but I grabbed a couple of them. They were on clearance. I'm gonna put these in the frame, the next frame I do. But I have these silver pieces that were the same thing. They're just silver and they're like a slider bead, right? And so I took my red Sharpie and I made this one red. Now silver actually, I might just put it silver now because I have all this red here, but, um, and I think I might do that to pull that silver, but the thing is I have gold here and I haven't really put any gold, but I think I'll put gold micro beads. So I think I'm gonna just keep this silver. But I wanted to show you how simple that is to do. I'm gonna change this silver one into this teal color. So let me zoom in. Are we, are we yeah. And you bet you just simply paint it on there. And if you had alcohol inks, uh, just put a couple drops on it, let it sit in the puddle. That's what I would do, just go directly to it. I wouldn't even apply it with anything. I would just squirt it right on top. And I actually put a couple coats of the red on here and it looks much smoother when you do a couple coats. I did the sides too. Because when you do tiles, sometimes they end up on the edge of the piece and you, can, you see the side. So I like to finish the sides. So I'll just go back one more coat because I am picking some up on my fingers when I turn it and touch it. So you really should just let it sit. But now I have a teal metal tile. And you could do that with a bling too. All right, so just wanted to share that and thanks again Kathy you just reminded me I, I actually did a video on this a long time ago um, and I used I believe I did use my Copics um, and I did this little uh, owl I, I did an owl charm 
I'm gonna glue this down. Now this is Weld Bond White Glue, and I think it's available at Hobby Lobby. It may be in a smaller bottle, and it was, it used to be at Michael's or AC Moore, one of them. I know I got it there one time, but I did end up ordering this bigger bottle at, um, it's called Blick, Dick Blick online. They're an art supply source. And um, man, you can really tell the difference now. It looks super teal. I don't know, you can't, my lighting isn't good for that, but I'm looking at that. So when I do, oh, so that's, whenever I glue my um, mosaics, I use this Weld Bond glue. And it started because uh, when I was doing the glass, oh, that's my fireplace. Bird, there must be something above that catches um, moist water because it's been raining and the birds go up there and they take a bath see that's them flipping their wings that's so funny so look what I'm doing I'm just taking the pieces off and putting them in the same um, position that they were in and that way I can just apply glue to the whole top and I know right where to go with the pieces um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I was doing glass tile mosaics with grout and everything. And at the um, the store at the time, they moved. They moved now. They're not even there. But she recommended the weld bond, weld bond mm -hmm. to me. And um, I think a lot of, like, I think, I think Lori Micah uses it too. They suggested. It's just a very strong white glue. So now I've got a coat on my lid, and I am going to take a little and put it on the back as well. And then I just wiggle it into place. I also added a little bit of um, varnish to the red um, tiles and the black tiles. They were just looking a little plain. And I had also glued them on with... Um, another glue that's called uh, sorry it's not coming to my head it's by ink Centrals, and it's is it on my desk oh my god Sarah I am so brain dead um, but it was it showed in a couple spots so I decided to just add varnish and now everything's all shiny I painted up a couple of other red and black tiles last night and I'm using them or well that one I think I only used one on here and I'm just getting these where I want them and then I'll do my final uh, fitting you, sh you know when I I'll push them all into place but I just want to get them on here I will apply that the bling with that other glue and I cannot think of what it's called um, Kiwi's on my shoulder, my little Conyer. She's very happy. I think I'm going to try gluing this with the Weld Bond. And I could probably do this with the Weld Bond. I'm going to try it. This is the first time I um, have done this, a bling thing like this with the weld bond, but I think it'll be fine. So now, I just go around, make sure everything is kind of where I want it to be. I usually line up the edges together. Like there's, I could make a gap, a, I think I'll put um, micro beads underneath music. So I'm going to push everything down this way. Oops. And I'm going to put some micro beads here. I may even have more bling chain that I can use, but I think the micro beads would look really pretty and it will bring the gold. I'll use gold micro beads. I'm just going to give these a press. And give this a press and the glue it's white now but it will dry clear 
and it holds. I've never had an issue. So I'm just making, there might be a little room for some uh, micro beads. What is the freaking name of that glue? Oh my god. <sighs> glossy accents. Everybody knows glossy accents. So I usually use glossy accents to glue these the bead chains and stuff like that into place but you know it's not you know cut in stone you can do whatever and so that's basically done I have this little piece of chain and I am just going to throw some of this in that uh, channel there and I may try to add another piece of bling chain because I have it I think it's gonna fit in there I have um, what is it it's like an Aurora Borealis um, color like it's clear but it I love AB it's so cool come on there we go not really coming out there's a jam up in here. Oh gosh, see that's great. Just pull it off, here comes Kiwi. She's getting stuff. What do you think you're doing, Missy? What do you think you're doing? There we go. A little bit tedious, but well worth it. I love bling. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, so that's that. I can push it up against the silver, keep it straight. And then, see these look a little crooked too. Crooked bothers me. I'm, try, I'm trying not to stick my head in the shot. Here's Kiwi. But, um, Sometimes I gotta stick my head in there, so I have this whole bag of bling here. So let's see what's gonna fit in that channel. I hope. So I know the black will, and I know the thin red will, but I wanna do this. I don't think this is gonna fit. I think it's too thick. I can move everything down. There's room. I can move it down a little. There's room. Kiwi, what do you think you're getting, huh? What do you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I could even cut off a little bit of that um, that tile because it's just white at the top. If I wanted to fit this in there. Oh, ah, 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 ball chain. I think there's enough bling. I'm gonna use ball chain. Sorry, I just totally thought of that and where is it it's not in here but yeah I'm going to use ball chain gold ball chain that'll totally tie in um, here it is this this is what I'm going to use love it I loved this so much on this boho one it's right there and yes that's exactly what I need it fits I'll just move that down closer. So I'm going to cut it right about here. And I will use the glossy accents to lay that in there. I may cut off one. Alright, so that's how that looks. I might as well, I'm going to keep this in here, all this chain. But look, I mean, this was gifted me, and I can't remember who did it, but look how fine that is. This was in one of my pocket letters, and I can't remember who sent that to me. I think it was, um, I, th I think I know who it was. Um, and so, yeah, but... I went yesterday to look for some more of this, and I didn't find it at Michael's. Well, yesterday when I found, oh, and look, I have this tiny red in the same size. This is like a dark, dark red. 
I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same size. Um, so that's my music one. It's looking pretty good. Uh, and I am deciding whether I'm going to put tiles on the rest of the box like I did for the boho one because this box is um, red and the lid was gold so you can see the gold under there but um, I don't know if I want to cover the whole box with tiles it could look cool but I don't have a ton I have to make more so and when I do this I like to make sure everything's straight and spaced correctly because once it dries it will be all clear and um, that's it once it dries that's looking good everything looks straight there's a little room in here like sometimes um, I can fit seed beads I'm calling them seed beads um, micro beads like there's a spot right here that micro be micro beads would look cool, I think. And micro beads are these tiny little beads, and they are very messy. I'm gonna move that up a little. Um. <sighs> because they they bounce all over the place. And, but aren't those red blings perfect? Perfect, perfect. Um, yes, I'm going to put a little bit right in that channel right there. And all I have to do, usually I'll use a straw. Kiwi, you're so precious. She's so happy. Like, I'm just going to cut off this piece of straw here. And I can use that to distribute I'm going to put some glossy accents in that channel. Right there. And just pour some micro beads, maybe. Hmm. It's it's I like to use my little um I'll show you. I'm going to go over here and get It's like a piece of um I don't know what kind of fabric this is. It's like a velvety acrylic blanket type fabric. And I'll sh it just keeps the beads from, from falling. So if I just pour a few out like that, which is a lot. Now where did I put um, my little piece of here? And then I can pick up the beads with the straw. I clamp it down on this side and just pick them up and put them in the straw and then I come over to this area and just gently distribute them. I also um, I'm going to use that same brush and just kind of pat them down into the glue and it's messy like they're not all going to stick depending on how much glue I put they actually do they go right into the glue and then it dries solid so then I could tip it they went all down here and they the, they may stick to the weld bond but uh, I'm gonna pull them out as best I can because I like the look of it to be clean I want it to look clean, and I'm just I toss the ones with glue on them in the in the <laughs> um, in my wooden box and just so they don't stick to everything. But that's cool. I like it. I think it looks clean. I'm glad I changed this back to silver because I have so much red bling right there. I think it you know it was enough. And. We're good. This is just the um, weld bond kind of 
the glue just like okay so let's do a close up I love that I put the varnish on the red clay this is red glitter clay and it's not red. well yeah it definitely is glittering when I turn it but I put it on the black just a little glossy varnish those red blings are amazing I'm so happy thank you again Kathy for reminding me I could even glue like this is looking empty right here a little bling right there like one of these rhinestones or something should I I mean you know you could just get carried away there's red these are bright red look at this so if I just lay it and just have a look what it would look like is it necessary no it's not necessary or put it in the corner not necessary you know what out if I had mm, but you could do whatever I could glue like a piece of metal on there or anything but I think we're good I'm just see enough is enough sometimes you just gotta know when to quit And I'm so pleased with these red blings. So you can make them, if you get all clear, you can make them any color you want. So that's the box. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything to the sides. Because I could just add, I could paint it more. I don't know. I kind of like it like this. All right, you guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to say, I ended up moving this bling area. It moved, it came off. So I decided to pull it up and use the glossy accents because I just feel like it, I know glossy accents will hold metal. I don't know if the weld bond does. And I also added more um, micro beads over here. So just FYI, weld bond is, is more for flat to flat I don't know it's I just love glossy accents you could probably glue the whole thing with glossy accents the other thing I want to show you is when you're putting back the micro beads it's handy to have one of these little triangle tools and you can just pick them up off of this velvety whatever kind of fabricy and you just go like this and and this little triangle picks up every one of those beads so it's just absolutely a pleasure it's not the only way you could do it um, and I've done it in a like in a uh, paper plate and just you know you you're gonna get them in there regardless but just FYI this really is a helpful thing for any beading projects that you have and I know you can get them at um, in the bead department so all right that's it thanks for watching